listening to The Sauce, recorded live in the FingerLakes1.com studios, deep beneath historic downtown Seneca Falls, New York, featuring Dandy Aaron D, Mysterious Narco Girl, Only Sometimes, and Saucy Joe. And uh, Mike, check. And good evening, Sauce Pod listeners. It's me, Tony Sometimes, and this is episode number 95. Well, the Sauce Podcast recorded live in the studios of FingerLakes1.com, deep beneath historic downtown Seneca Falls, New York. It's Monday, March 25th, and tonight we're going to be talking about a pepper spray (gasps) attack at a Pennsylvania dollar store. We'll meet the gold man of Pimpery, India. We'll get a behind-the-scenes look at the salacious breakup of the animal house outdoor crew (laughs) with special guest uh chester owen studio tonight our weekly recommendations tweet of the week dandy's choice and much much more per usual i'm joined up here tonight in the finger lakes one.com studios with my saucy compañeros dandy aaron d yes sir and saucy joe bangerang and mysterious taco girl. I was really late. And special guest Chester O. I was totally on time. He was here first, and uh, and as I mentioned, I'm Tony sometimes. So um, let's get right to it. A lot of uh, controversy on the internet lately concerning Chip City and <laughs> and his selling out apparently uh, selling out the guys from the Animal Out Out. Is it true? The <laughs> Animal House Outdoors. No. Uh, animal Outhouse. <laughs> Any truth to that? No, he didn't. He's not a sellout. Just, uh, I don't know, we kind of slowly ended up drifting. Things got pretty crazy for a little while. Things got real. Tokyo drifting? Yeah, I ended up leaving. Things were getting a little too crazy. I got a couple kids, so it was a little little tougher for me. So You quit. Yeah, I left. (laughs) And uh, Chip ended up joining up with a guy named Chris Brackett. He's got a couple shows. He lives in Illinois, but that's where he's at now. The show me state. Yeah. It's pronounced you know, Illinois. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't think Illinois is the show me state. But he's out it's there the producing. City. Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> Illinois, the windy city. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how how did you guys get started? Because I'm just hanging out, you know, browsing the internet, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, it's an explosion of uh, <laughs> of extreme hunting videos with you guys shooting arrows into doors <laughs> and uh, killing turkeys, going crazy. Yeah. It was fun. It was an experience and a half. Definitely didn't go well. Chip's vision it was always going to go that way, but I never thought it was going to end up becoming something and going on um, the Sportsman's Channel. But it started off when we were in high school, and Chip and I we always hunted and filmed together. He's always had a vision on doing that. Then we ended up meeting up with Mark, and uh, it went on from there. We were planning on just making a. Uh, a DVD to sell and we posted some videos online and some guy ended up seeing us and it went on from there he just knew people and so we got to do TV instead of making a DVD so that's what uh, Chip ended up yeah, and you guys had what yeah. three or four episodes on the, uh, the it was seven episodes seven episodes yeah, we did we did seven episodes in less than a year and had it on the sportsman's channel so it was fun it was an experience I don't regret it but the videos were really good. I mean, I watched them all start to back, and, and uh, I, you had to subscribe to a certain tier on the cable, but then you could get yeah, the episode the later on channel, online. Yeah, it's strictly hunting and fishing. That There's like three different outdoor channels, and uh, that was the second best of the three channels, so that was pretty cool. Um, and the old Chip City and I are rap rivals. I don't even know <laughs> if he knows this, but we are probably the two 
only two white rappers Seneca Falls has ever seen, and it's just a matter of time before you know we have a showdown. <laughs> you heard some of his stuff, he's but I think I, well, I think he's ducking me though. His different styles. He's mo- he, he is good. He is good, but I bring yeah. an old school style. <laughs> um, think and he's definitely more new school. He's definitely more like Eminem. I'm more like Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, uh, maybe that's an episode for another day. So now Chip is uh, he's abroad. He's in the the Show Me State, the Windy City of Illinois. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Show Me State, <laughs> Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's editing and uh, producing and filming this new show called Arrow Affliction. I think it starts in less than a month. You and Chip are so much no, alike. No. It's not you much edit different and than what produce shows all the time. That's what I'm doing right now. And as a matter of fact, and we were thinking about changing the name of the show to Arrow Affliction <laughs> from <laughs> the South Pod. It's amazing. I think Chip's show starts this week. Is it start this week? I think so. Look hmm. on Facebook and it should. I know it was less than a month. It's on the Outdoor Channel. Not everybody gets it. I think I get that one. Do you? I just don't get it. Uh, it would be this week. Is it? Wow. Well, you know, like I said, doors always open up here for an <laughs> impromptu MC uh, battle, face off, whatever you want to call he it. He should be here uh, sometime over the summer. Oh, well, we'll get him up here. We'll get him up here for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him know that you're looking out. Yeah, I don't even know. Battle him. I mean, yeah. I don't know if he understands this, the history. The musical history around here. You got to respect those that come before you. <laughs> <laughs> You're old enough to be his father. Yeah, well, you know, I was dropping rhymes probably when he before he was even thought of. When did I drop my first rhyme? <laughs> the I fact that you <laughs> call it dropping your first rhyme. I was probably in seventh or eighth grade when rap first even came around. Period. You know, it didn't even exist when I was younger. So, what year would that have been? The hell? Um, seventh grade was probably eighty. Five. Yeah, so that was probably close to the year Chip was born. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. So, you know, like I say, I've been dropping a lot of flavor long before, <laughs> you know, he was stringing together his M&M stylings. <laughs> so, so maybe that'll happen. But uh, first, more important matters. Man drink like that and he don't eat. He is going to die. We save hard drinks in here for men who want to get drunk fast. Fat babe, slide a piece of the pole to the dick side, run the job. Look at here. Dandy Aaron D, what are you drinking up here tonight? Oh Why are you slouching so much? The lower I move your camera, the more you slouch. Dude, I'm not even slouching. There you go, that's better, I guess. Vitamin water. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Saucy Joe, what are you what are you drinking tonight? I'm drinking the blue moon. Oh, Everybody's wow. familiar with that. Sure. Yeah. Good with an orange. I had one left in my fridge. So you just brought the one down? I just brought the one down. Okay, it's responsible thinking. And uh, Mysterious Taco Girl, what are you drinking tonight? Trusty water, as always. And the backup is a okay iced tea. Okay. It's not green. Just a regular, is it sweetened? Unsweetened gold peak tea. Oh, I'd like to try that when you crack that open, maybe. You don't got to do it right now, yeah. but, well, it is right in the middle of the, the segment, the so... Sip. Let me yeah. try this. I hate here. giving people the first sip of my drink. <laughs> Why? Because it's the first sip. That's, you know, it's mine, number one. <laughs> wow, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little lighter than, uh, uh, it's a little lighter than the Lipton, or what is it, Lipton I drink? Yeah. Unsweetened? It's a little lighter. Maybe a good companion for summer. Ooh, yeah. Prob- well, now, l- give me the nutritional facts. Zero calories and zero sugar, I bet, in there. Uh, it has zero right. calories, zero fat, zero carbohydrates, zero protein, and 55 milligrams of sodium. Sodium, a little bit of sodium, but that's good. What's the name of that brand? Gold Peak Tea. Gold Peak. Chester O, what are you drinking up here tonight in the studio? I'm drinking an iced tea... Lemonade Monster. Monster. That's, I bet <laughs> you that has more protein oh, in it yeah. than, than uh, Mysterious Taco Girl. It's very healthy. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it will eat your insides alive. You don't have to ruin it. That's probably got triple caffeine and. Oh, yeah. A lot of it's sugar. It's got 100% of a lot of things. Yeah, easy. Of vitamins? No. Mm, no. I don't think they're vitamins. Yeah, vitamin B, vitamin B6, B5, B3. B3. Yeah. It's a lot so more health packed into that. So it makes your urine it's glow. It's only 5% juice, though. 
Well, there I shouldn't be any juice in there. It's iced tea, right? Or is it lemon? Slash lemonade. Oh, lemonade, 5% juice. Yeah. Oh, it only has 10 calories. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's not bad. Is there saccharin in it? in like a quarter of it, though. I don't know. No. Sucralose. Look at all that. Sucralose. There you go. There had to be something in there. There's coconut water in there, Dandy. I don't like coconut water either. I think it's disgusting. Well, it's in here. Some's good. Most of it's disgusting. You got to find a good one. (laughs) I'm drinking a large coffee with cream and one sugar from the dunk. I run the job. Look at here. Man drink like that and he don't eat. He is going to die. Well, it's off to Disney World for me on Thursday. Woo-hoo. Sucks to be you. Why? What's wrong with Disney World? Let me know how it goes when you get back. Disney World's the best place on earth. Yeah, but I've never heard of like one parent taking a young child there and having a good time. I've heard nothing but positive re- response. I mean, I'm not big on taking trips like that to like Disney World, but uh, I've heard nothing but positive responses. From uh, other other parents have gone down. I bet it's better than uh, the water park. Oh, I bet it is too. I also bet it's better than the Marlboro Ranch. <laughs> Not a <laughs> chance. I don't know about that. <laughs> you never been to Disney? Yeah, I've been to Disney. No. I last time I went, I was probably ten. But I know my parents hated going, like taking those kids there. They had to. No, it's fantastic. The only thing that's everybody gets sunburned, people cry. Well, that's just horrible. We're sunblock <laughs> and kids cry. The only thing is, it's like a hundred bucks to get in now. Does sound terrible, Dandy. What sun sunburn? Crying. I don't like crying. crying yeah. Kids crying everywhere. Are you driving or flying? Flying, which I hate. That's the worst part of it. I'd rather drive. I hate <laughs> flying, especially. You know. Yeah. You know, you're more. Your odds are higher of getting into a car accident than getting into, into a plane crash. They are, but, you know, when I decide I want to pull my car over and do whatever, get, grab a bite to eat, you know, stretch my legs, I can do it. And, or smoke a cigarette or anything. I'm free. So you can't go two and a half hours just sitting somewhere? Well, they tell you it's two and a half an hours, but what happens when you get on the plane? They're like, we're currently 17th in line, and you sit there for like <laughs> three hours. You know, you can't go anywhere. They've got you. Dude, how long and do you sit in front of your computer like. at night? Well, they again, doesn't have it, to. I don't have to. I can get up if I want. And yeah, but how long do you? It, it varies from probably two to five hours on an there. average night sitting in front of the computer. By my free will, though. <laughs> I don't know. I think Disney World is fantastic. Well, it'll be fun. So what are you saying, Dandy? You, you don't mind flying? I love flying. You love it? Yes. What do you like most about it? Not having to drive. I like that flying <laughs> gives you an excuse to do something. Like, I don't always have the time to read or catch up on TV shows. But if I fly somewhere... Got nothing else to do. So those are two great things I like to do. I hate being in a car. If it's anything over three hours, I want to fly. Well, wait, you just said... So, so you... Because <laughs> anywhere you're going to fly, <laughs> f- you know, you're going to spend that much time at the airport, both ends, you know, then you're not really saving that much time. Florida's a different story. We've got a direct flight, thank God. I'm not worried about the how long it takes. I just hate being in a car. You know, I like hate it, being in a car with Dandy <laughs> for more than three hours. Dandy, like good old-fashioned road trip? I hate him. Wow. I would have thought I that was it. your thing, kind of. No, I hate being stuck in a car. I feel the way you feel about being stuck in a plane, I feel when I'm in a car. Yeah, but if if I'm in a car and I'm going somewhere long distance, I got to be able to keep, I got to be able to cheat the cigarettes. (laughs) It's it's so hard to drive without smoking. So do I, and you smoke like a pack before you hit the border of fucking New York State. That's the best thing. I'm going to have a heart attack. (laughs) (coughs) Me and Dandy went on a road trip once. And on the way down, we saw a petting zoo. <laughs> so we're like, oh, this is great. But we don't really have a lot of time, so we'll stop on the way back. So on the way back, we make sure to take the right trip. Both severely hungover. Get to the petting zoo, pull off, you know, go to the first gas station. We're like, 
hey, you know, where's the petting zoo? It's all these people around. They're like, oh, it burnt down. In, in between the time you went <laughs> and came know. back? I have no clue. I just know that we couldn't go. No animals yeah, yeah, survived. It burnt down. <laughs> so disappointed that day. It's quite the bummer. But you can't do that if you're in a plane. You can't just stop off at the petting zoo. No petting zoo is <laughs> on a plane. <laughs> I think we got fireworks instead, didn't we? Can't do that in the plane either. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like fireworks. Probably not. Yeah, maybe not. Wrong road trip. Well, following up. Somebody says they have an extra ticket for you at the Verizon Center on Thursday. Who's that? Who's saying that? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in the chat room? Yeah. <laughs> Ringtone. Oh, yeah. I think he texted me. Yeah, that's, I'm going to be at that point. You know, it's it's Thursday, though. See, you know, maybe I can drive down, watch the game in D.C., and have the plane pick me up on the way. Oh, wait. It's another thing about flying that sucks. Plane can't stop and pick you up halfway. So just fly from D.C. and meet him down there. I think the uh, arrangements are already made. I'm going to watch that Syracuse game Thursday night, and then I'm going to watch it probably once they beat Indiana, watch it Saturday night in like the ESPN zone or something like that down there. Probably get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, remember I recommended the Dollar Shave Club? Yeah. And I unboxed my first package? Yeah. Why'd you put the camera on me? Because uh, <laughs> I used it and the razors were good. Well, I just today got my second, my first monthly packet. I'm not even done with uh, my first group of razors. You're they're have they're a good surplus. razors. You're they're good razor razors. Surplus. But now I'm gonna. I figured I'd unbox this too and just see what's going on here. What what they sent me. You should start. It's not going to be exactly the same. <laughs> I'm hoping it will, but you never know. <laughs> I you can start was. selling them on eBay for extra money. Overstock. Yeah, there it is. Four new razors. Wow. Woohoo. Five ninety nine. Dollarshaveclub dot com. I'm telling you, it's the best thing I've ever done. Ever. <laughs> That's the best thing he's ever <laughs> done. <laughs> we'll subscribe to that. Ever. Oh look, they they sent some other packaging in here. Thank you for shaving with a fresh blade today. X O your face. <laughs> um I, I can't believe your face wrote you a note. Yeah. Mm, my face never writes me notes. Maybe it's why I don't either. shave it. So that's that. And I also got this postcard that says uh, the official sponsor of to celebrate us. We want to celebrate you so much starting today. Your thing is our thing. If you're involved in a cause, blah, blah, blah. And on the back it says... Uh, DSC, the official sponsor of Bill Rod's softball team. Oh, I see what they're doing. So they can, they, maybe they'll sponsor our podcast. Maybe they will. Dollarshaveclub.com. Get at us, Dollar Shave Club. Thank you, Internet. Thank you. Again. What's up, Saucy Joe? Not too much. I was just perusing the uh, app marketplace. Anything interesting? There's a few recommendations, but nothing. Uh, Nothing too great. You're looking for a recommendation for later in the show? No, I don't. Nope, I'm not. I would just, I would recommend, if I'll say right now, I got a recommendation right now. Go for it. The NCAA March Madness Live app is the best. It was the best. It's now it's no, not as much of a need for it now that we're no. past the first round, but they do it right. Yeah, it's really good. They do it right with that one. So how you living? Good. See this hat I got on? It's a nice it's the hat. the same hat you had last week, <laughs> yep. isn't it? With the hood that Rudy... Uh, how I bring Rudy that's how I bring Rudy here. He was complaining in the chat room earlier <laughs> that I had a hat on, that I stole it. He said he puts it under his balls Yeah, in the summer. I didn't steal this. Uh, he left it at my house, just like a lot of the things that I have a lot that of are Rudy's. He leaves them at my house. A lot of action in the chat room tonight, but Danny's not really keeping us posted. These two are having a conversation. They don't care what we're talking about. Who's in there with ringtone? Maybe if we talked about him, they would. Got to be about. Roger. Yeah. They're having their own conversation. What about how long it takes to drive across the United States? <laughs> how long does it take? Three days. Roger said 18 hours with stops in between. Ringtone said, yeah, fuck you. Could do you. it that fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good conversation, man. <laughs> no, nah, he didn't say that, but yeah, they're like talking about amongst themselves. I did it in two, two and a half days with stops. Two and a half days. Yeah, I don't know how much we. See, I, that I would have. I don't know how much we drove and how much we stopped, <coughs> but we. I would have stabbed myself in like Missouri. 
There's nothing I want to do more than drive cross country. You want to do that? Yeah. Maybe in an RV, maybe if somebody's driving. I don't need an RV, but I would like if it was like a month long trip. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. I wouldn't want to do it, you know, because I have to get right. there. Yeah, but I don't know. I just hate being in a car. <laughs> We've established that. You know who uh, who did a little cross country trip of his own recently was uh, Polly Always. Yeah. Really. Yeah, oh. he was living out in Washington State. Oh yeah. The. Uh, What's Washington? California to New York, three and a half days. So he, he came back through and stopped in a lot of places along the way. As a matter of fact, he stopped in Chicago on the way, and w- we were in Chicago, That's and right. you were in Chicago. And, I was and in Chicago. And we saw Polly Always. That was, I forgot about that. He was in the midst of his uh, cross-country trip. The Windy City. The Show Me City. It's the Windy State. Right. Yeah. <laughs> show me the wind. <laughs> Well, Dandy. That, that night it was this always city. <laughs> yeah, Polly always definitely owned the city of Chicago that night. Wherever he goes. Yeah. So, Dandy, uh, what do you got for us this week in terms of excruciating choices that we need to make? Nothing good. <laughs> Not good. I'll take the top last week. Got it in the notebook, though. It can't be that bad. Ooh. It's bad because I can't remember it. It's bad. <coughs> you can only smell for fall and winter. Like You, <laughs> you only have, the you sense only have of your smell? sense of smell. Seasonal smelling. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Or you smell garbage every day for three hours on, three, hour, three hours off, starting when you wake up in the morning. I find this to be easy. That, yeah, it's, it's not a good one. I would take the not smelling for the two months at all. That ruins eating for two two seasons. I'm okay with that. No campfires, flowers, <laughs> all these things that Danny enjoys. I well, know. I was well, like the last two things I thought you would name. What Let seasons? Can I smell? Fall and winter. You can only smell for fall and winter. So campfires are good. In the fall. In the yeah. summer. Hmm. No, you can't smell for fall or winter. Or oh, no. so wait. Um, no, you. You can't smell in no spring sense of smell. in summer, and you can smell in fall and winter. Well, see, we go camping in October, time, anyways. Yeah, I'd rather smell fall well, uh, and winter. So, I think that the two seasons of not smelling would ruin eating for two seasons. Let me ask you this: If I didn't have to smell the dump, I'm a happy as a clam. Yeah, we already get to smell garbage, right? Yeah. <laughs> Occasionally. Um, let me ask you this. Would you rather not have the sense of smell for fall or winter or spring or summer if you had to choose? You had to choose two of those. You can either smell from September through March or April through August or whatever the median right. time was. April through August. You choose summer smell. Yeah. For what? me, the dump plays a big factor <laughs> in it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, <laughs> I hot, hate it's hot dump. garbage versus I cold work garbage. By, I work yeah, but by you the dump. don't sm- you smell once a month, if that. In the summer, I think it's an every other week. Hot when garbage. it rains, Hot and hum- humid rain brings it out. Uh, now, I do like to smell flowers, though. I do like smells around Christmas, holiday yeah. smells. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I think is the best season for smelling, of all. It's the smelling season. It is. Well, either that spring is pretty nice too, when when everything's kind of fresh. But some people have allergies. But. I certainly uh, enjoy a nice smell of a fresh cut Christmas tree in my house or uh, a freshly baked Christmas goose. <laughs> I enjoy that. <laughs> enjoy that a lot too. Talk a lot about food lately. I've been I'm on an all-time pace for eating. I'm binging. I'm, I got to stop. I got to lose some matter of fact, I think next sauce spot I'm going to bring a scale in here. I'm going to weigh myself and from that point on I'm going to weigh myself every week and I'm going to drop 20 pounds. By Memorial Day. You want, you no, know, the smokes. no, you can't do that. Hey, watch me, watch That's me. That's dangerous. Um, it's on. That's dangerous. You know those people you were making fun of? What about Fourth of like July? Which two, ones? Two weeks ago. Who's that? Because they were all like fat at the water park. That's going to be you in Florida now. It's <laughs> me right now. Yeah. I, 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 well, I don't weigh an all time high right now, but I'm getting back up towards my. I'm about 222. It's all because you were making fun of those people. No, it's because I eat whole. Triangles of brie in one sitting. <laughs> Isn't that right? God paid you back for making fun of we s- were, uh, sloths. 
a friend of ours uh, emailed us and said, hey, new French restaurant in Auburn or something or someplace in another or this Mexican restaurant here. And they're like, you know, let's hit it up. Let's do it on April 5th. Really planning it out. And uh, they said, well, which one do you want to do? And I said, let's do a double header. <laughs> Make, I'll go on tour. <laughs> let's hit them both up. Auburn is known for its French cuisine. I think it's Skinny Atlas, right? I, I really don't know. I didn't pay that attention to. I just saw two restaurants, and I figured they'd both be good. I did try Bambino's this weekend. Oh, did you? Was it the first time? It was. And what do you think? I thought it was enjoyable. What? Not, like, fantastic? Just enjoyable? The Why food, don't you let her say thing. it? <laughs> the food, I enjoyed my food very much. I liked it a lot. The music is odd. I didn't even notice the music when, when I've been there. Three times I've been there. So um, they'd play, like, the final countdown. Oh, really? And then they would play, like, you know, the Italian Macarena. Huh. Or, that um, sounds good to me. Fun. Like a Karate Kid song. And then what Karate <laughs> Kid song? <laughs> I am the man who will fight. Peter Cetera. Yeah. And the service is, the service is rough. But it was service was is slow. Service yeah. is slow. But I, I enjoy myself there. And if you order enough, you're always eating in between them waiting for bringing something else. Would you recommend it? Your main complaint was the music? In the service. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I think you already recommended it. Well, no, if you don't recommend it, I can recommend it. You not recommend it. But I'll I'm recommend just, their food. I'm surprised. I'm I will surprised. recommend their food. No, no. I think you got to be in, wow, in, in, in for the whole thing. You got to be in for the whole thing. It was, I got chicken parm because I was, I'm very undecisive orderer. That's the thing to get. So I figured if they can make a good chicken parm. Sure. It was a damn good chicken parm. Yeah, the Probably food. the best I ever had. The best you ever had? Yeah. My my thinking is if, if someplace is going to make me the best chicken parm I ever had, I don't care if the service is bad. It can't be that bad. And I don't care if they're playing Europe. I don't care if they're playing <laughs> Carrie, Rock the Night, Cherokee. <laughs> <laughs> it was so loud and so odd that I was talking to the table next to me about it. Huh. <laughs> well, that's that wasn't like that when we were there. There wasn't loud music at all. He can't hear in winter times. Oh, yeah. so he that can only hear in spring and summer. Was. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Well, maybe I'll have a new restaurant to report on next time I'm back. But I'm going to bring a scale in here, and I'm going to do it. It's going to be called the Sauce Pod 20 Sometimes Weight Loss Challenge. I'm going to set a date and I'm going to see. I can drop it. If I really want to, I can. I don't even have to exercise. Just stop eating so much and, and stop drinking Coke. Yeah, but Coke's bad for you. I've been, I last time I really made a concerted effort, I got back down under 200. Your pants didn't fit. No, it was great. None it's of your pants feeling. fit. <laughs> yeah. And, now, and then I get back, and then I got back up to where my pants fit again. And now I'm at a point where none of my pants fit except for like the. <coughs> couple of pairs of pants i bought last time i was this fat i had to go to a memorial service today and i had to you know i was trying to wear some dress pants as you some slacks some slacks yeah dickies so last night i raided my 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 uh drawers my uh you know whatever that's called my wardrobe <laughs> slack drawers <laughs> looking for some slacks to wear i got 10 pair none of them fit Aww. me all way too small <laughs> so what did you do I wore these jeans that I'm wearing now. They're nice jeans. Yeah, they're pretty nice. They're dark. Uh, but the point is, there was a pair of pants in there. Mo almost, I'd say, 90% were 32, 30. That was my, that was my fighting weight, <laughs> right there, 32, 30. There was a pair in there that was 31, 30, and I thought to myself, that's embarrassing. How did I let myself get to this? <laughs> I'm wearing 34 right now. I was, I was 32, 34, like in high school yeah. graduation times. And I got 28. My 38s are snug. In high school. You were a tiny little fella. 20, I, had 20, I had a pair of 27-inch leather pants that I wore. Shut up. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what color were they? Black. I still have them. They're you in my closet. You strike but me as a maroon kind of guy. It's like, uh, yeah, they look like that couch. <laughs> no, I, 27, they're in my closet, like, mocking me. How could I ever wear that? Well, it's, it gives you a goal. Hmm. Yep. To get back into the 27-inch leather pants, I doubt that's going to happen. <laughs> I, but I don't think so. I, I, I'd I like bet we could get dandy in them. We're talking about that would be seven inches from my waist. I think he should put them on. I'm not going to even try. Seven. What inches. size pants do you wear, dandy? 30. Really? That's really? Impressive. Jesus. That's impressive. You're slender. <laughs> you need young in, their baggy. in their baggy. I got mad pants for you, man. I got so many pants for you. 
<laughs> you don't even believe it. I'm good. They wouldn't fit you anyway. They're too big. Even my skinny pants are too big for you. I'm fatso I am. You're not a fatso. Yeah. So I think I can do it and checking in on the sauce but every week it just might be the motivation I, I need. I need somebody to say, You there's no way you're gonna do it. You're f- such a fat ass, there's no way. All you, I gotta, think all you had to do was tell me I can do that. You do it. I think I'm gonna be a What if I join you in the weight loss challenge? Let's do it. Let's see how we'll weigh it in right here in the studio every week. It'll be a new segment. I'll make an intro. <laughs> I'll make it right. out. <laughs> Do some production. Maybe, nah, I think maybe we should get Chip City to produce that part when we have make <laughs> the intros. Nice. Or Actually, let's make it a whole new show. <laughs> okay. Produced by Chip City. Be on the Outdoor Network. <laughs> Fatso's in the wild. You guys, <laughs> <10 42 laughs> you guys are the ones that should lose the weight, and he should gain it. You should have him right. gain it. We'll see if he can gain, gain more than we can yeah. lose. Yeah. Call fat ass I Yeti wish that challenge. was my challenge. I try. It doesn't work. I wish that was my challenge. So do I have to stop bringing treats? No, that's part no, of the challenge. No, I, I when I lose weight, um, <laughs> I, I I don't like s- deprive myself. I still eat. I just make a few smarter choices. Portion less control. Pepsi, less Coke, and I just don't gorge myself in between meals. Like I, so, I guess this yeah, bringing a whole thing of uh, Chips Ahoy cookies in like you did tonight is not going to help me because I'm going to eat all <laughs> these by the time the show's over. I've already eaten six. No, Roger's got no tested. faith. He says, no way you're going to do it, fat ass. Jeez, that's <laughs> my that's my own kin. <laughs> well, he was asked for someone to yeah. do it. Now he's... I oh, so I he's and ringtones he's support you're, me. You're just as long as you are wide. Well, there we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm yeah, ready. he can't I'm ready. talk, though. He's like 24. Right. Yeah, I believe Wait me. Wait until he's... He said he was born in 85 age. when you were dropping your first rhyme. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I never had. I could eat anything I wanted until about probably thirty two, thirty three. When I was thirty, it all ended. Yeah, it's all downhill from there. <laughs> Chester, <laughs> Chester, all. It is sadly. He's only got like a week or two left. Yeah, and then it's over. Idiots. Then it's over. But uh, dreading it. So that'll be fun to see if I can drop that weight and do that. But uh, pressing matters here on the news wire coming through. Dateline, Pennsylvania. Mom orders kids to pepper spray dollar store employees. Dang. A Pennsylvania woman returned to a dollar store she had been banned from and pepper sprayed employees as they attempted to escort her out before encouraging her children to do the same. Authorities say Delana Garling, 27, went to a family dollar store outside Philadelphia on Monday where she had been banned from the for alleged theft. Surveillance video shows the woman accompanied by her two children attempting to douse employees with pepper spray as they tried to remove her from the store. Upper Darby Police Superintendent Michael Chitwood told NBC Philadelphia that the manager of the store then got in a fight with Garling during which the pepper spray fell to the ground. She then yelled at her kids to continue the fight. The woman is hollering to her daughter, get it, spray it, get it, spray it, get it, spray it. (laughs) The seven-year-old girl mm-hmm. picked up the canister, but another employee quickly grabbed it from the girl. Chitwood said that the marijuana and pills were also found in Garling's bag upon arrest. Charges against her include assault, harassment, drug possession, and being and she's being held on $30,000 bail, according to court documents. Garling pleaded guilty to retail theft in 2008 and 2010, too, as well, according to court records. So, so there you have it. Get it, spray it. Get it, spray it. Get it, spray it. It's a. She's not a very good mo- role model. No, she had weed and pills and pepper spray. <laughs> weed and pills. You, a seven-year-old girl. That's my daughter's age. Get it, spray it. I, I can't imagine <laughs> encouraging her to pepper spray a dollar store employee or anyone for that matter. Could you imagine how much the poor dollar store employee makes, and then they have to worry about getting pepper sprayed by <laughs> really? small children? What she got kicked out of a dollar store for in the first place is a real question. From th- stealing from a dollar store, You're banned you can't come from up here. with a dollar. Buy what you need. You can scrounge up a dollar in the parking lot. I Who's can think changed? of a lot of ways to m- come up with a dollar. Not buy pepper spray. You'd have a few dollars. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, Stop actually. Spend as much money on pepper spray. <laughs> and pills and marijuana. Jeez. Which way do you guys spell marijuana? With an H or a J? The c- whatever way is the funniest looking. So, so probably <laughs> would like the H. Mary Huana. Mary Huana. I, think I don't the use the way. term. I don't think I've ever written that word down. Spell it. What? I've always spelled it with a J. M A R I H U A N A. What's what probably be? 
If you search it on Google, both are proper spellings. I think it's M A R I J. I mean, J is the way that I would. You if I was actually if there was a test, I was writing an essay. I would write yeah, I would write with a J. But if I was trying to be funny, write it with an H because it looks funny. Marijuana, the silent killer by you saucy Joe. That's what it's called. I spell pills P I L L S. No Z P I L L Z. I spell pills. I spell P I capital U S. So the L's are connected. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it. I'd huh. buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Any action in the chat room on that last story, Dandy? <laughs> I'm not in there. <laughs> what are you doing? He just he like, he's totally dazed. He's hurting the show. He's hurting the quality of the well, show. How, no. how many episodes do you think you've listened to of the show? Um, quite a few. How many times has that been said by him? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what? Oh, what? No. I wasn't paying every, attention. Every what? day. I wasn't paying attention. Or every single yeah, week. Thanks, Dandy. <laughs> I don't. Huh? I think it makes people laugh, <clears throat> though. Yeah, great. Uh, <laughs> laugh. They're Who? laughing huh? at us, not with us. <laughs> it's all right. What's your, what's your shirt say tonight, Dandy? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Who are you? What, what does it matter? <laughs> We're trying to engage you. I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah, not with us. You guys talk about what you're talking about. What are you talking, talking about you? What are you looking up? What are you looking up? Nothing. How to spell <laughs> Mary, <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> well, I got some content. Good. <laughs> Uh, this week's Tweet of the Week comes from at LazerDoov, L-A-Z-E-R-D-O-O-V, on Friday evening. One, take pictures of every cat in your neighborhood. Two, make missing cat posters with the pictures. Three, get all the cats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you have so many cats. I thought that was funny. That's my tweet of the week. <laughs> a couple yeah, of he'll sit there for hours. Just not pay attention. <laughs> I just listened. He said, "Get all the cats, take pictures of them." He's kind of backwards, but he kind of close. Also, from Miss Hacky, M I S H A K E K E Y, I was just about to get offended by a stranger on the internet when I remembered I'm not an idiot. Uh-huh. And also from uh-huh. at Rob Fee, this is probably actually. Would have been close. We got a phone call. We got a phone <laughs> call coming phone in call. on the Soft Spot Hotline. Talk amongst yourself. As you can tell by that sound, that we have a rotary dial on the wall in here. <laughs> <laughs> what did you bring? A sack? Did you bring a backpack? God, at least I turned my cell phone off before I walk in here. That is true. He might be. That might be He's an emergency. He's new to the whole cell phone world. <laughs> He's not really quite sure how it works. Doesn't know how to. He doesn't have the app for that. Um. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> no, no, not good. Ringtone says the courts spell marijuana. Everything's okay. H. Yeah, that's some people do. I'll give you the transcript of that phone call I just received. It was my wife. I opened I said, hello? She said, is this Nick? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> it's your husband. <laughs> and she said, oh, I thought I was calling my mom's phone. Ah. And she hung up. Is this Nick? Nope. <laughs> Me. Oh, it's our phone. Got it. <laughs> Duh. Nick. Not many people named Nick anymore. Oh. They don't. Not, not many Nicks around. My uh, mother in law. What? There's not many Nicks. Not no, as many Nicks they don't as there name were. Kid, little kids Nick anymore. Nicholas. I know a lot of Nicks. What are you I talking know. about? Of, young, of younger than us? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know many. I know one. Just because you only know one doesn't mean that nobody gets named Nick anymore. It's a good indicator that not as many people get named Nick as I do because I know a lot of Nicks that are my age or older. Just because you don't only know one doesn't mean there aren't other ones, though. Certainly not. At underscore Michael Jordan says, bug and buck are almost the same word, but bugs don't use money. Really makes you think. (laughs) (laughs) Here's one from uh, at Rob Fee. Uh, Rob Fee. Why don't you make like a tree and get slammed into by my drunk uncle on Halloween 97? Why didn't you call a cab, Uncle Gary? We miss you so much. <laughs> That's a great tweet. Are you kidding me? I love me? that tweet. That is horrible. Well, I, I don't think it's true. Maybe yeah, it is. That was for comedy. <laughs> I was hope one. so. But it's funny. It's I'm funny. very literal. 
Uh, no, no mail, Dandy, huh? Do we got any mail? Ooh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, the news on the international front is heavy this week. It is heavy, so we should probably get right to that. Dateline China. Chinese fishmonger discovers live bomb inside squid. Fishmonger. Dang. A fishmonger in southern China was certainly left shell-shocked as he gutted a squid on his market stall, only to discover a live bomb inside. The device, which was eight inches long, had been eaten by the squid, which itself measured more than three feet. The fishmonger, who only gave his name as Mr. Huang... Spoke of his consternation to the local Gangzhou Daily newspaper. He said that the, his knife hit the metal of the bomb whilst he was already gutting the fish. This sort of squid lives close to the shore and normally makes a meal of small fish and prawns, he explained. Perhaps he thought the bomb was his favorite food and gulped it down. Prawn. He certainly had a big belly when he was caught. Police attended to the scene quickly and removed the bomb to carry out a controlled explosion. From the aging of the bomb with its rusty exterior, forces forces were shocked it hadn't already detonated. I guess that would mean the police. The explosive is thought to have weighed around three pounds. Explosive squid. I think you got to show the picture. <laughs> Mr. Huang. That wasn't it. a picture of the squid with a bomb. That was just a picture of a f- random fishmonger with a, ski- with a squ- squid in a market. It was a dramatization. No, there yeah. was a bomb in it. No, you thought I, I looked closely at the caption. This, this was a news story provided by Mysterious Taco Girl, who was out on the beat today. Um, she reported that <laughs> story <laughs> live. Did you talk to Mr. Huang? I did. Couldn't get his first name though. <laughs> He's a <laughs> fish wonger. Um, yeah. So, there's not enough mongering going on these days. You know what I mean? Not enough mongers. I around. think I'd uh, might poo in my pants a little bit if I. What? Was, was <laughs> 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 well, if you're fishing and you pull up a fish or a squid and it's got a bomb. He in didn't it. find the bomb until he cut it open. It was Back probably fish mongering. Okay, yeah. so then when you get Station. home to clean your fish or your That's squid. That's what he's doing, yeah. Oh, boy, he said there. his knife hit the metal of the bomb. Didn't you listen? <laughs> yeah, I know. I would be scared. <laughs> didn't you meet? Weren't you there? I was there. How would you know it was a bomb? They had a little alarm clock on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> had a, a red wire and a yellow wire. I knew it. Mm. It's not the kind of thing you see in a squid every day. No, you're right about that. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Um, Dateline, Pimpery, <coughs> India. Lonely man spends $21,000 on a gold shirt. Dang. <laughs> I know I'm not the best looking man in the world, but surely no woman could fail to be dazzled by this shirt. Was a statement <laughs> made by Data Me. Fuge. Data <laughs> Fuge. D A T T A P H U G E. Data Fuge. Yeah. It's a got great a, name. It's Data got a Fuge. Gold shirt. Data Fuge. Age 32. I bet I picture a hairy chested man wearing a gold shirt and his hair's getting caught in the gold shirt and just hurting. He showed the world <laughs> yeah, his shirt made be. exclusively of gold. The wealthy man spent about. 21,000 U.S. dollars to have the shirt made. Apparently, his main purpose was to attract female attention. 15 goldsmiths spent 16 hours a day to carefully weave gold threads and put in six Svorsky crystal buttons. Holy smokes. The shirt was completed in two weeks. Scrap gold pieces were made into cuffs, rings, and a belt to match the shiny, dazzling outfit. Now, this is the best part. The gold shirt has been one of my dreams, Mr. Fuge told Indian newspaper The Pune Mirror. It will be an embellishment to my reputation as the gold man of pimpery. <laughs> the guy's the gold man of pimpery. His number one ambition is to be robbed at now, knife point <laughs> for his shirt. Would you, I mean, okay, so I got to turn it because if I was in a room full of girls, I would say, do, would you find that attractive? But if a girl had Dandy's a Dandy's got a girlish figure. Girl, a girl had a gold shirt mm-hmm. on, or say maybe a gold skirt. It's a little bit more attractive. Okay. Would if that be like a turn on? Would you no. be like, oh, I want to hang out with that? What he's doing is saying, ladies, look at this shirt I spent 21 grand on. And if I like was at a club, which I often am at clubs, <laughs> if you'll find, and I saw a lady with a gold skirt in it, and she said, you know, I spent 21 grand on this skirt, I'd call her an idiot. Like, you're an idiot. I agree. But you spent too much money on your skirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Woman. 
don't I've know. Ne- I haven't spent 21 grand on my entire clothing line my entire life, ever. I never I will. I bet you I've spent that much on clothes in my life. I haven't, and I never will. Till the day I die, I never will I well, spend. Well, you do have to get new dress pants. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to lose. I'm taking the f- the fat guy challenge. Sauce pot fat guy challenge. Sauce pot fat guy challenge. The Yeti challenge. Roger would have stole her dress. Right. <laughs> That's what's going to happen to the gold man of pimpery. He's going to get robbed. Probably. Um, you wanted me to read that comment. It will be an embellishment <laughs> to my reputation, is the gold man of pimpery. Danifuge. All it took was 21 grand. No, see, women need want to be taken care of, Mysterious Taco Girl. So see, the, one woman. A little, <laughs> here's a little lady, Are we gonna get into lady this? advice. <laughs> one woman sometimes. a year does do this. That girl in the Victoria's Secret who wears Yeah, with that. that she doesn't bra. buy it, number one. And she doesn't get to keep it, number two. Right. She's, She's not actually buying that. This guy just gets to keep his bra. It's man's ear. It's dumb. I just picture it pinching my chest the whole time I'm wearing it. Well, I think it's woven of golden thread. I just picture it being a bunch of gold chains. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know that that's pinching what you're Pinching each and every single like hair every time you move. Constantly tearing your hair out, yeah. No, like it's nipping nipple, your nipples. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like that. It's more of a... Oh, but I'm the gold. It's very shiny, but it's it's fabricy. It's not yeah, It's a gold, metally. golden thread. Do you want um, cookies? Sure, Nutter you want a Nutter Butter or a yeah, Chips Ahoy? Butter. Okay, good, because the Chips Ahoy are all mine. <laughs> um, Fat slob. <laughs> would you like some milk? No, thank you. Oh, I, lost, I was going to can't give that milk away right milk. now. Someone will take it for their kids. Lost my train of thought when Danny asked for those cookies. I it's called you a fat slob, and then we stopped talking. Yeah, before I was going to say something about You're something. talking about <laughs> girls want to be taken care of. Uh, Which yes. I don't know how that relates to a twenty-one thousand dollars shirt because he spent it on himself. He didn't spend it on his. Yeah, but if he can afford a twenty-one thousand dollars golden shirt, imagine the things that he can fashion for her of gold. You know, there's never been a better time to own gold. No, that's what, what I saw on TV earlier. Yeah, exactly. in fact, like 10 if you years guys want to bring me your gold, I'll buy it from you. <laughs> and, do you uh, buy gold for more? What? <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I'll if you guys want to bring me your un- unwanted gold. I'll turn it into cash for you. I have two gold chains at home that I used to wear both at the same time. Rope style. Well, one was rope and one yeah. was a thin, um, thin flat chain. But I would rock them both at the same time. Back when I was doing my rap shows. I was say, how many, how many uh, <laughs> rope style gold chains do you think Chip City's got right now? Probably none. <laughs> yeah, probably made of like antlers. That's not the style. S- step one: turkey beards. Right. Step one to rap and get a gold chain. Step two: get a second gold chain. Now you're ready to rap. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I dated a girl back in the day who was younger than me. Um, it wasn't that far back in the day, but yeah, I guess it was back in the day. And some of her friends behind my back used to say, "Oh." You're going to go hang out with Gold Chain Jim, Even, which is odd because my name is Tony. Right. That's <laughs> great. What, they didn't even know you. Yeah. They didn't even know you. But they would, they, <laughs> and uh, a lot of people, that would hurt their feelings, but I thought that was funny. That is funny. I thought that was funny that they thought of me as Gold Chain Tony. Um, my wife dated a guy in college who wore exclusively denim. No denim way. jacket, denim jeans all the time. D- denim shirt. Because he liked Bob Marley so much, and Bob Marley used to wear a lot of denim, you know? They call him Dr. Denim. I wore a gold chain because I and like gold chains. Obviously, he's not a winner. <laughs> no. I wasn't trying he to emulate anybody. anybody. It would have been way cooler if his name was Dave. <laughs> that would be <laughs> yeah. pretty awesome. <clears throat> oh, gold chain Tony. <laughs> Roger says it's a Canadian tuxedo. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Roger's the best. Roger, when are you coming stateside? Um, um, more specifically, back home in Seneca Falls. Not until you lose weight. <laughs> is that what he said? Or no, Dan's just making stuff up. No. Actually, I think if anyone could... Uh, he said he could get you back in exactly, the Exactly, roll shit. out a good plan. I don't want to be a be part Roger. of his program. I'd rather just do I it myself. He's I don't got a smoking bod. Always has. This just in. <laughs> Dude's got a smoking bod. That's nice. What about me? <laughs> I recommend <laughs> it. I, I, I want a smoking bod. You gotta take some No one has Roger. ever said that about me. I don't need to be worked out like a, some sort of a marine sergeant grunt. Or Roger's gonna be here the week you're not here. 
Oh, that's too bad. Well, he can still come up on the sauce spot. Yeah, he can be a guest. He can be the producer. I nope. No one's ever said that he had a smoking bot. Here's another thing. I've had that people I tell me I have a nice butt. Yeah? It's been a long time, though. I got to admit, Roger's got a pretty nice butt. It's been a long time. <laughs> My wife said that about me. And that's it. And back in the day, I, w- I was able to uh, commandeer a uh, a sheet in, in, like, middle school that was a rating sheet that the, the, the <laughs> oh ladies God. hit it, and, and apparently I had was well rated on butt. Um, I smile. Personality, pretty good. Um, God, I pretty much rated high across the board. Yeah. The, the things kids did back in the he 70s. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously uh, has means because he's got two gold chains, so that's N- good. And then I went home and listened to some 8-tracks cassettes. <laughs> See, that's not even funny because nobody here probably even knows what the hell I'm talking about. Don't, don't start. I'm laughing so hard it's silent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The words Roger just used. I can get him there. I have been working with athletes and general population people. General population. <laughs> civilians. I'm both. General civilians. Pop. He's talking about civilians. General I would pop. turn him into a muscle bound freak. Now you're just. <laughs> no, weird. I just want to drop 20 that. pounds. I, I don't want to be. I don't be, want to be, be bound. I yeah. love that he calls people general population. Yeah, they're people. civilians. I like just want to. I just you. want to uh, uh, lose some weight. That's all. I want to tone up. I want to. I want to fit the old 36s. I think Roger will show you how to tone up. He would. I don't, well, he's he not w- going to be in the time that he's here. We'll do it here. We'll set up a camera. We'll show <laughs> us some moves. Oh, makes me out of breath just <laughs> thinking about it. Like, <sighs> that's really rough. That's really rough. <laughs> I'll show you some. I moves. went to a memorial. Oh, he service said today. he would not turn you into a muscle-bound freak. Sorry. Oh, that's what I want. That's oh, what that's I want. That's a big difference, Danny. You left out an important word there. And while well, I haven't officially started the diet yet, I guess it's time for another <laughs> chips, chips Ahoy cookie can't start the diet before you go to Disney World, right? Here's another thing I've never done or never had done or never done. Uh, had my picture taken with a chimpanzee dressed in a sweatsuit while I was kissing it. I, and I say that <laughs> <laughs> I say that because I went to a memorial service today for my great aunt. And there was, you know how they do the pictures of those things? You know, there's like a collage of pictures. Yeah. There's one of her kissing a chimpanzee who was in a sweatsuit. The chimpanzee was. The chimpanzee was, was in a sweatsuit. She was holding it and giving him a smooch. She lived a good life. I couldn't believe it. I said, "What is going on here? Never ever will I have this happen in my life." <laughs> she <laughs> lived a good life. Don't be so sure that will never happen to you. Maybe episode one hundred's coming up. Get that chimp in here. <laughs> sweatsuit. Episode one hundred is coming up, and we don't we haven't really made any plans. We really need to. We gotta make get plans. On that. Chad, can you get the old uh, about Animal Chester House L? Outdoors group back together to do a documentary on us? Just one last time. <laughs> Ship can drop what he's doing in Illinois, take a drive back. I suggest <laughs> that you uh, turn Danny loose in the wild and hunt him. <laughs> nah, that's a great 100th episode. <laughs> we'll just hunt Dandy. Just on promise only just shoot him me. in the leg. Just shoot him in the leg. It says you. <laughs> we'll get him drinking. Yeah. You guys couldn't catch me. Give Dandy a 15 minute minute <laughs> head start out on Yost Road. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should put them in a stream. We can smelt them. Yeah. Catch them with a net. <laughs> we doesn't. Ha- we don't even have to actually shoot them or kill them. You could just track them. Like a, it'd be just <laughs> like a laser tag hunt. We, shoot them with pa- we can shoot them with paintballs. Yeah, yes. there you go. That's the way. We don't really yeah. want to. I get a gun too, though. I really just want to corner Dandy and pelt him with paintballs. You'd never find me. Oh, I'd find you. We get the paintball guns. You get the Nerf gun. <laughs> I'm no. like, I'm like I get a pellet gun. You awesome. guys get paintball gun. <laughs> you shoot me with a pellet gun? Yeah. I'm Why? Like man tracker. Because I'm not an animal. I don't like. You're I, ca- an animal. I couldn't bite you or anything, so I'd have to have something comparable. Well, when you go hunting, animals don't normally bite you. But they have weapons. <laughs> they do. Deers have <laughs> antlers. Deer, oh. deers, have <laughs> deers have antlers. That's true. That deer, you know, if you're not able to protect yourself. Have you ever seen a jackalope? kill you and everyone you care about. Boom. I don't think there's jackalope around here. <laughs> I don't think there's jackalope <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> We're, when in, in the... Do you remember when we dressed up like white deer? That was like the best Halloween costume ever. I do remember. You had antlers. Deers had antlers. Were you um, in the filming of any of these episodes? You were ever in danger by an animal? Were you no. But you. No, well, they woke me up with a turkey. Saw but that. it was. A, I saw was that one. Episode, yeah. 
That was a good one. It was it was kind of set up. You were always I was gonna say, I don't know if that was <laughs> You were always the one that, that was getting, you know, brought out of bed to go on some wild Smashing cockamamie adventure. In your face. Oh yeah. I was a serious one of the bunch to keep them in line so they figured they'd have to retaliate to uh, Mr. Serious pull pranks and recall. all sorts of crazy stuff on me. They blew me up with a car yeah, car airbag once too. That was kind of. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> Roger's talking shit no. about both you guys. <laughs> What's he got to say? I'll hunt Roger. Uh, ringtone said, "Roger, you need a fitness podcast." And Roger says, "Any which way but lose." Any which way but lose. <laughs> That's a good greatness. Or in Jutin movie ever. Orangutan. 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 <laughs> Danny. That's pronounced That's not orangutan. how you spell it. Right? There's Ye- no G at the end. O R A G U T A N. Yep, orangutan. Really? Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> and then Roger <laughs> said, "I don't need shit. These guys would be struggling with even the easy stuff I would give them to do." <laughs> like what? T- uh, tire toss? Would you have? A, would you have us do a tire toss? No, I'm thinking he would have you guys doing like rope climbing, your own body weight exercise, medicine just, ball, like, stepping up on a stool or something. <laughs> I don't see him giving you guys weights. I get a lot of exercise in the summer alone. If I just watch my eating, stop drinking so much Pepsi, and just do what I do, it'll we're, come we're off. You guys will be amazed. It's all going to come out in the wash. You guys be, unless maybe the rules have changed now that I'm 40 plus. And I don't mean size. I mean <laughs> age. I'm a 40 plus. Maybe the rules are different now. Maybe. I hear they are. But at this rate, I'm going to. He said do body weight squats, push up, hold 30 seconds. It's hard. And then call him tomorrow. I'll call it. It's hard. Body weight squat, push up, hold 10 seconds. I can do that. 30. 30? Push up, body squat. You mean hold like extended on your toes? No, it's so like do a push up and then hold the plank for 30 seconds. Oh, shit. I can hold that for two hours. No, I'd like to see you hold it for a minute right now. <laughs> Absolutely not. Do yeah. it. You, do what, it. What, just to pull myself up like a push up? You are chock plank, full of though. chips ahoy right now. You There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> that you could do that. Do it. You have to be flat, so your butt can't be up. So you want from your heels to your head. It's kind of like a, a a ramp. Ooh, looks like your elbows are completely bent. no. Looks no. like I Things found like my this. personal trainer. You, Brian doesn't know what he's out. doing. There's too many cameras in body. here to do that. <laughs> but I think I could do it. There's just too many cameras. Roger, they're never gonna do it. Roger, I'll help you. Well, um, <laughs> it's about that time when we figure out uh, one item that we each bring to the show each week that's going to help enhance our uh, listeners' lives. So, Let's check it out. Hot, fresh, new, useful, coveted, delicious, awesome. Tip. Tip. Saucy Joe, what do you recommend this week? Um, I recommend, and I, I haven't experienced it yet, but tonight at midnight, uh, Bioshock Infinite gets released. It's a video game. <laughs> That's a pre-release say, recommendation. That's a pre-release recommendation. I'm, I already pre-ordered it. It's already ready. It's already downloaded in my computer. It unlocks on Steam. I'm pumped. I love the prior two Bioshocks. They were amazing. So you're kind of recommended Steam as much as you are I love Bioshock. Steam. Steam's Steam's explain best. how that works. Steam is just a digital delivery system. For games? For games, yeah. How much does it cost? The price of the game. Uh, this was probably Is that a subscription surface? No, 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 no. Nope. That's downloaded to your PC or your Xbox? To my PC, yeah. So you're going to play that game on your PC and not your gaming console. I played the first Bioshock and the second Bioshock on my Xbox. I'm going PC this time. How come? Uh, full graphic capabilities. Wow. Well, there you go. What does that even mean? Nerd talk. <laughs> I have I have a, a decent video card in my computer. Like a so better than decent video card. But it's better than the video card in a oh, Xbox? Yeah, yeah. Xbox 360. How, when did it, how, how has it been? 15 years? No. Ten no, years. Ten years. Been a while. Ten years since 360's been out. No. How long has it been since 360's been out? Ten years? Got to be close, right? Did I can Google it, but I, I'm not prepared. I'm close to that. ten years. Now, ten years ago, even five years ago, video card technology 
GPU technology, not the same as it is now. That's all. M- remember our, my buddy Rob was up here? Yep. In the studio. What was his name? Uh, anyways, he was up here. But he, uh, a couple weeks ago when Syracuse was playing Georgetown, the Big East Tournament, or the last time in Washington, D.C., um, a couple days later, I, in the mail, I get a package, a mail, an envelope, <laughs> and I open it up, and inside is an art newspaper article from the Washington Post about Syracuse and Georgetown series. A lot of history. It was a great article. I'd already read it online, actually, like two weeks before. Um, and it attaches a sticky note that says, uh, thought you would enjoy this. Talk to you soon, Rob. So my friend <laughs> so great. sent me an, a, a newspaper article in the mail, it, it, you know, for me to read. In 2013. I'm like, who does that anymore? Rob. There's something to be said about it. Yeah, if, I suppose it reminded me of something that my grandfather would do. But, yeah. uh, you know, he could have emailed me the link. Yeah, that's boring. Everyone does that. I said, well, I guess we wouldn't be talking about it if he only sent me the link. He really took the time and effort to... Read it. You know, would enjoy this. He put a sticky note on it and put a stamp, forty six cents, and he I obviously has my address. I think it's cute. I think it's it was a sign weird. Of true friendship. No, I thought perhaps maybe it was payment for the holes he burnt in my brand new car a couple I, years I ago. I recall that. Yeah, but it wasn't. It was a newspaper article, something <laughs> I already read online. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Dandy, what do you recommend this week? Uh, I don't recommend anything, but I'll read Rogers. You suck. <laughs> you don't recommend. There's nothing this week that you have that you said, geez, this is great. I'm going to recommend this on the sauce pod. He made a point How earlier about, saying he wasn't going to recommend anything. You took two vacation days from work to do something. Sit around. And? Watch TV. You watch basketball. Yeah. Is what you did. So well, you can't recommend not, that? That's not why I took two days off, though. It's not? No. <laughs> Lane. I tried to get him, guys. Right didn't right work right this I'm not gonna just recommend if I don't like. I right. got nothing to recommend, so I'm not just gonna come here. I and just be can't like, believe yeah. the week of your life went by and there's nothing that you could recommend. Gold pass a pass drugs. along, pass along. Read Rogers. Yeah, what's Roger got? He yes. recommends you guys read about current exercise theories. Shut up, Roger. <laughs> Where do we do that? Bing exercise. Bing. <laughs> he wants oh. us to bing it? <laughs> no, Danny wants you to bing it. I just, <laughs> just go wanna, bing I just it. didn't want to say Google. So go I bing it. Bing. I've, you know what? I've never binged anything. I've binged I haven't th- binged. I have binged only to see what bing, what it's like to bing. And it's similar to Google, but not as good. So I'm done with it. Have <laughs> you ever binged, Chester? Nope. Are you a Google man? Yeah. Dandy? Google man? Yeah, because that's just what's on He wouldn't here. recommend it, but yes, he is. I don't care. I type something in and click on, click on something. Click I just it. hit mash my keyboard and hope the right answer comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Smash. Smash. I recommend not hanging out with you two jackasses. <laughs> that's what I recommend. Mm. Dull drums. Dandy. Dandy. <laughs> Where are gonna go now? Poor Dandy. <laughs> Nothing to recommend. <laughs> so, um, Chester, guest recommendation. What do you got? Anything? He was ill prepared. Yeah, you guys were talking about gold earlier. I've been addicted mm-hmm. to these two shows Gold mm-hmm. Rush like and that. Bering Sea Gold. Yeah. yeah. Pretty no. interesting. Gold Rush is the one where this crazy family goes up north and with their excavators and to Alaska. Yeah. I've yeah. seen that. Never find gold. Yeah. Well, no, they do occasionally, but it's not very much. Yeah. Well, there's different, there's like three different families or yeah. friends that do it. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. At the beginning of the episode. The Bering Sea Gold is my favorite, though. Is that the one where they scuba dive? Yeah. And they it's do it also vacuum it. underneath the ice, too. When the ice goes, it's like four or five foot. Thick ice. Are I'm they looking for that. sunken treasure? Or how they get uh, they're sucking up gold from the bottom. Like gold wow. nuggets? Yeah. Would you well, do that, Danny? Would you go like dive that. for gold? It depends on if I got to keep the gold or if I had Well, to obviously, they're not going to like send you down. Nobody there. Wants to do I have to... Well, you can't smell. Do I have to pay <laughs> all the expenses? <laughs> like for to run all the equipment and shit? Yeah, let's say you do. No. All right. So let's just say that you're you're getting paid to 
If I, if I could go out there and, and you get a share of it, you, but you don't have to manage any of the yeah. fuel costs or any of that. Nonsense. At least a 50% share. That sounds like that'll happen. It's a hard good deal. bargain to drive. But yes, let's say that's the thing. You would do it? Yeah. I would never dive under the water, under ice for gold. Yeah, I would do the ice thing. I would if it was calm, but no ice. You know what I mean? In the I, summer. When man, it's dark down there. They go down deep. Yeah. And they yeah. find gold and they, they, they cash it in? Light. Yeah. Hmm. The crew members all get a percentage. Oh, it's a crew. Yeah. yeah. You got to have a crew. If you're looking for gold, you got to have a crew. If you're scuba diving under Indiana four Jones. feet of ice. No, this is not Indiana Jones nonsense. That's what I should Just bring an axe. You should recommend. What do you recommend? Well, Indiana Jones would have been a good one. Not but really. What? No. Are you kidding? You no, you My no recommendation is better than that Indiana Jones. Mine <laughs> is a... <laughs> At least I came up with something. Zing. See, I, I don't want to come up with stupid Zing. stuff, so I'd just rather not say anything. Fine, the stupid thing I'm going to come up with this week is Radio Lab Podcast. Another a competing podcast? It doesn't compare. I could see the I could see the <laughs> viewers leaving in mass right now to go check out this new awesome it's, podcast. It's, uh, it's much different than the podcast we are currently producing. Less dandy? Less dandy, more kind of thought-provoking, educational. Right. It's interesting. They pick a topic each week. Radio Lab. Yep. It's part of an NPR type thing. Yeah, NPR makes the best podcast, hands Sorry, down. Chad. Not necessarily the funniest, but. No humor. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not it, really. Is it, is NPR it, humor. Where they're <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> Funny stuff. They well. laugh like, ha, 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 ha. Off, 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 off. I got a recommendation. Good, let's hear it. Take a little cream cheese, a block of oh it. My God. <laughs> <laughs> a little, like a block. Hmm. Philadelphia Food. cream cheese. Put it on a plate. Get some pepper jelly. Awesome. You ever oh, have hot pepper good. jelly? And we've, everyone's had this dish. Pour it on top of it. Grab some crackers, and then you're done. What kind of crackers though? Um, Trisket is yeah. the best way Tr to deal with that. Trisket is the best with that. But yeah, I, I call it pepper jelly cream cheese log. Here's an <laughs> here's an invention that I once came up with with a f some friends of mine. Title. It's called Trisquick. It's like Bisquick, but it makes Triscuits instead. You make your own Trisquick. No. no how one? do you yeah. how do you thread the? I don't wheat? know. We didn't come that far with the idea, but it was just an idea we had. Trisquick. Oh well, that's. So you can make like one big Trisquick if you wanted. Yeah, or you can make it any shape you want. I think that's impossible. I think there's a patented process that they use <laughs> to to, 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 to uh, weave the wheat it would strands. Be a, it would be a mix. That make you a Trisquick. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Trisquick is the best cracker. I'm I'm with you there. there Trisquick is. is good. I'm gonna disagree. You know what I don't well, like? What's the best the flavored Trisquicks? I don't um, like those. Toll House. Butter well, crackers. The club, yes, the club crackers. Club crackers from Toll House. What about a stone That's what wheat? I was going to say. I'm a huge stone wheat yeah. fan. Stone wheat thin Triscuits fan. are good, but you have to have cheese on top of them. No, I disagree. I like Triscuits just plain. I do too. I, I like, like Triscuits, cheese. salt and pepper Triscuits. You ever have those? Yeah. Those just, are legit like just original. plain like they are. I mean, I'll eat a plain Triscuit, but. This is what I'm saying about Triscuit. You could have whatever you want. <laughs> whatever. Hit me up, venture capitalists. <laughs> I'm ready. But I honestly, uh, big fan of that cream cheese with the pepper jelly. I mean, you can't almost not get a better it's good. You know, tabletop appetizer. Now, it's so easy, too. Yeah. It's One, easy. two, done. Do you like the so uh, good. cream cheese log with the like the tiny, tiny shrimp? Uh, with I don't like I don't, I don't like cream That's cheese good. when they encrust like it with things. Like just give me the cream cheese. You don't need to encrust it with anything. No, I was. She's not talking crust. She's talking like a cocktail sauce over it. It's that's like you a, buy a jar of like go. mini shrimp and cocktail sauce and you just put it on top. Oh, no, I don't like that. No, that's very good. That's very it's good. It's good on Triscuit, so. I can't deal with the look of it, so I can't eat it. Huh. It's very good. Mini shrimp. But not as good as the hot pepper jelly mm. on top no. of the cream cheese. My mom makes pepper jelly. It's super good. D Hoax put it on the cream cheese. I was gonna, See, I was going to bring some of that in to pass around, but I didn't get around to it. But I did, um, along with your... Brother-in-law, mysterious taco girl, put away an entire log during the uh, broken on Friday night. I believe it was during the Syracuse. What, what's wrong, Danny? I can't hear anything. <laughs> Must be winter. <laughs> 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 
Well, um, we have technical difficulties. We about hit our our time, and Dandy, of course, uh, can't hear anymore. So, any parting shots from our guests, possibly, before we leave? Thanks for listening. We thanks for having me on. We certainly enjoy yeah. the fact that uh, you're among the few, the proud, the sauce pod <laughs> listeners. <laughs> he listens every week, and I get to watch him, and he laughs. Yeah, I you watch loud. him listen. <laughs> I watch him listen, and he laughs. So, Do you feel pride when he, he laughs? laughs? Like, out uh, loud. Oh, girl, you've done it again. That's Some how I know he's listening to it because he will <laughs> belly laugh out loud. Sometimes <laughs> we do funny it. things. Sometimes we do funny uh, things. Now, how do you listen? Uh, what service do you use? Like, how do you? Either through the website or Stitcher. Stitcher. Okay. No kidding. Yeah. That's cool. I'm glad that you. I, I, I listen on Monday nights if I could watch it on my phone. But we don't. We're working towards the. Uh, we are working. We're heading that way. I think the way it's going to go is step one is going to be we're going to live audio stream our our podcast productions from up here. So you get a live audio stream if you want, and then the second step is to get the video enabled uh, mobile devices, which is a. Uh, you wouldn't think it would be as hard as it is, but it is mm-hmm. difficult. It's a. It's a. Very. Uh, it's a hurdle. Technological we got in suit, hur- yeah. hurdle to overcome for what? <laughs> I don't know. I know the big Happy podcast getting sued. That's how you know you made it. Yeah. Did we get our letter yet? We got our outro removed. Yeah, that's right. We we got flagged. We must be there. That's okay. We, we made it. Um, a lot of listeners though. This is the one show across our network that gets more listens than views. If you can believe that. Who would want to see our ugly asses? Exactly. Speaker yourself, homeboy. I think it's just <laughs> more Elmer Fudd over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just you more. You like my Elmer Fudd outfit? <laughs> like what the freak? What the freak? I really tried hard on this one. It's because you're getting into hunting. No, mm. no hunting yet. Have you ever killed Fishing. anything while hunting? Okay. You ever hunted and shot something? Uh, no. Before we get out of here, let me tell you my hunting story. Now, are you a, just you're a hunter? You yeah. enjoy hunting? Hunting and fishing, but he yeah. eats everything. He fishing kills. is just hunting for fish. I mean, you're hunting fish. Yeah, it's but the same thing. Different you means. You got to figure out how to. Yeah, I get you. It's, right. it's the same you're thing, right. man. It's just hunting for fish. Yeah. Or hunting is fishing for deer and yeah. turkey. My dad. Whatever. My dad was a hunter. Squirrels. And uh, a lot of my family were hunters. And when I was a young boy, probably six, maybe six, my dad took me, you know, when they were shooting to. Before the deer season started, target practice and stuff like that, getting loose, getting the old cobwebs mm-hmm. off the old uh, the shotguns, yep. <laughs> sure. and um, I thought that was pretty cool. That was fun. They even had a little gun that shot these little tiny bullets that uh, that I sh- was able to shoot at like age six or seven or whatever it was. Too. And then one day, me and him went out into a field, in a, to a cornfield, and we sat there and then we called the goose call. <laughs> <laughs> and next thing you know, here comes some geese, and freaking my dad opens fire. <laughs> goose falls to the ground in, in the field, <laughs> and and so we walk up to the to the goose, and it's still alive. It's like going, <laughs> however you know, you know next. how gooses are when they've been shot. Yeah. And so he picks up the goose and rings his neck. Yeah. <laughs> and then he throws it in the back of the station wagon, and off we go. And I'm sitting there in the passenger seat looking back over my shoulder. Because back then, when you were six <laughs> years old, you didn't have to sit in a car seat. You could just sit in the front seat. Sure. Um, and uh, I said, you know, it's not for me. <laughs> He's sitting there in the front seat thinking that like, goose could come back at any moment. It wasn't even <laughs> that. I was scared of the goose. I was like, the goose was just flying yeah. and then they, my, my dad Ooh. murdered it and then if that wasn't enough he finished it off by wringing its neck yeah. yeah sometimes you'll wring their neck and it could be hours later and you have like you know a pile of geese you could be sitting there and next thing you know all of a sudden one of them just pops up and it's just <laughs> staring at you and it's like holy shit we just yeah. wring his neck you know like a couple hours ago and he just pops up <laughs> see i i feel compassion for the goose <laughs> I do. I feel like uh, I feel compassion for a pile of geese. <laughs> like I've never, I've never experienced a pile of geese. They're great eating. I, uh, well, I've I, eaten goose. What I don't like is you can kill a goose or multiple geese and yeah, pile. Like, so four hours later, if you're bored and you want to freak someone out, you just squeeze it and it'll honk. Oh yeah. Like, oh really? It's still yeah. alive. You can, I you hate can honk that. a dead goose. I knew yeah. someone that used to do that to me all the time. It would drive me bananas because it would just. Ugh, because he's a heebie-jeebies. You can honk a dead goose. That is weird. Why isn't that a saying, (laughs) don't honk a dead goose? How come that's not a saying? It is now. It is now. Make it one. 
It's also the name of this episode. And that's one to grow on. Well, I think we've overdone it. We've gone almost a minute, an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, which is uh, about our max. So I think I'm going to queue up the old outro. I'm going to thank old Chester for stopping in tonight. Thanks. I'm going to thank uh, Mysterious Taco Girl for the cookies. You're welcome. And uh, Chip City, if you're out there listening, you better sharpen up your skills, brah. <laughs> You know, these shows go as Dandy goes. Dandy's a barometer. Yeah, that's disappointing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>